Welcome back. Good afternoon. In this session, we are going to discuss some important concepts of Python: map, filter, and reduce. Okay. So you will understand them with the help of these examples. Let us create a mail ID. Let us create a mail ID given first name, last name, and domain. Okay. Create a mail ID given first name, last name, and domain. Now, what is mail ID? So mail ID is always first first name, and then you will have you will have underscore. Okay. So followed by say last name followed by say at the rate followed by domain okay now you return it return mail id okay now you have four people whose mail id is to be created or four people the first one is First names are in list first names, last names are in list last names, and domains are in the list domains. Okay. Say first names. The first names of the four people are are say A, B, C, and D. Okay, these are first names. Now last names. The last names are P, Q, R. Say yes. These are last names. Now domains. The domains are a G. Dot com. Y. Dot com. A W. Dot com. X dot com. Okay, and these are domains. Let us create mail IDs of all the four people at once using map. Now map the function. Map the function to all the list at once. Say F names, L names, and domains. Okay. So this will create an object. To get the data, you must apply the list method. So this is equal to mail IDs. Okay. So in one stroke, the map applies the method to all the lists. Now this method is given first item of first names, first item of last names, first item of domains, for the first time. So this method will work for as many items as are there in the in the list. Okay. Now print print mail mail IDs. Okay. So let us see what happens. Save it. Over here I need to put comma. This seems to be okay. Again, there is a spelling mistake. F names, L names, domains, F names, L names, domains, F name, L name. Here is a problem. Here is the problem. Oh, everything is okay now. We can print them using this style for mail ID in in mail IDs print print mail ID okay So 
this is application of diode. Next, application of filter. Application of filter. Okay. So let us see this application to create. To find out number of primes in a given list of numbers. For that, you need a function prime each prime. Define each prime. So number is n. If n is less than 2, return, return false. Okay. Say i equal to 2. Start with 2. While this i is less than or equal to half of n. And if n is divisible by i, then return return false otherwise increment i by one will come out of while loop when n is prime otherwise false will be returned okay now we have a list of numbers <coughs> same numbers we have a list of numbers from from 1 to 1 to 50. We have a list of numbers from 1 to 50. We would like to find out how many of them are prime without using for loop. Okay. Now, say primes is equal to apply filter to the method and input is the list of numbers. Okay. So each prime will take one number at a time from numbers list and check whether it is prime or not and returns returns that number which is prime. Returns that number whose output is okay. Again, it returns object to get data, it must be listed. So now you get all the primes between one to one to fifty. Okay, let us print them. So print all the primes between print all the primes from 1 to 50. Okay. Let us see it. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So let us find out all the primes between 1 to 101. How many primes are there? There are 25 primes from 1 to 100. Let us check whether there are 25 primes or not. Yes. It's working well. Okay. Next. Application of reduce. <coughs> Application of reduce to find out to find out LCM of of a list of numbers. Of a list of numbers. Uh, GCD. <clears throat> Let us write function for GCD. You all know this. This is one of the First functions are first algorithm they are designed. Say G, C, D. We have two numbers, say A and A and B. <coughs> okay, if A greater than B, if A is less than B, then swap. The logic is, the reason is, the first number should be bigger than second number. Okay. While B greater than zero, find out remainder. Remainder is equal to A modulus B. Okay. Now A equal to B and B is equal to remainder. So change A and B values. Now, 
written written a and b equal to zero this is gcd algorithm okay to apply reduce you need a module a library module by name function tools from function tools import or reduce okay now so we have we have set two numbers 10 and say 15 and 25 okay so what is gcd what is gcd of these two numbers the print apply reduce method apply reduce method to gcd and give the input numbers okay so what is gcd of 15 and 25 it is it is 5 number spelling okay what is gcd of these two numbers is fine okay now let us have say 9 18 So do one thing. Say fifteen, thirty, nine. What is GCD? GCD should be three. For fifteen, thirty is fifteen. For fifteen, thirty it is it is fifteen. Okay. Now for fifteen, thirty and and Nine. It is. It is three. Okay. And seven. It should be one. It should be one. Okay. So GCD function requires only two arguments. Reduce will give two arguments at a time. It takes fifteen thirty. G series of fifteen thirty is applied to nine. What is G series of fifteen and thirty? It is fifteen. So next fifteen to nine. What is G series of fifteen and nine? Three. Then G series so far is three. Then find out. Then it finds out. Then it found out. G series of three and seven. What is G series of three and seven? One. Okay. So this is one of the applications of reduce. Okay. So I hope you understand it. Thanks for watching. I'll come up with more videos and more interesting problems and some special features of Python also. Please subscribe.